Hi everybody and welcome to Biofilm Minutes, a video series by Alvim. In this new episode, we will explore the biofilm monitoring technology applied to water distribution networks. In particular, we will discuss the mechanisms of biofilm formation inside the pipeline, the strategy applied to remove it with biocid treatment, and most important, we will analyze the Alvim monitoring system and its benefits. So let's begin. In water, free-floating bacteria live and can settle at the internal surface of the pipes. Here, bacteria adhere and produce extracellular substances as proteins, lipids or polysaccharides. These substances, called EPS, form a reticulated network that holds cells tightly together. Indeed, biofilm is a sticky and slimy material composed by bacterial cells and EPS, in which pathogens can grow and survive very well because of the favorable environment. In water distribution networks, biofilm growth is very dangerous for human health because bacteria and pathogens can rapidly proliferate and propagate. That's why it's fundamental to properly sanitize the whole system. Usually in water pipeline is those uh, chlorine-based biocide, for example, monochloramine, hypochlorous acid or chlorine dioxide. The problem is that biofilm protect and shelter bacteria from biocide. So even if you sanitize, you are not sure to completely eliminate bacteria. So how to guarantee the effectiveness of the biocide treatment? With Alvin sensor, it's possible to verify the disinfection result and monitor in real-time biofilm growth. Let's see. First, laboratory test. Tap water with chlorine. Alvin sensor showed flat signal over time, as you can see in the graph above. That means no biofilm growth. Epifluorescence microscopy confirmed this result. Indeed, the coupons immersed in the same water were analyzed through live dead staining and red colors means that all bacteria were dead. Second laboratory test. Tap water without chlorine. After some days, albin signal increase, indicating biofilm growth. In the same way, Fluorescence microscopy showed green color, which means leaf bacteria. So, laboratory tests demonstrated that Alvin sensor can detect in real time biofilm development. Another test was carried out in a full scale drinking water system. Alvin sensor has detected a signal increase, which means biofilm growth. This result indicates that the chlorination applied in the system was not enough to completely kill microorganisms. So the remaining bacteria produce EPS and so the biofilm is developed. In conclusion, biofilm growth in water distribution network must be avoided since the proliferation of pathogens can cause a serious problem. Unfortunately, the complete eradication of bacteria is not easy because within biofilm they find protection against biocide, so dosing a chemical should not be enough. To ensure the total elimination of bacteria, you can use Alvin sensor that monitor in real time biofilm growth since its first layer. With the Alvim technology, you can check the effectiveness of the treatment, optimize it and guarantee high water quality. You can read the full application case at the above link or watch other presentation on our YouTube channel. If you have any question, please contact us or visit our website. I hope you liked the presentation and I want to thank you very much for the attention. Bye-bye.